morphology and classification. Hello children, we are all heard this saying, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you are going to get. This saying means that life has many choices and surprises, just like a box of chocolates. Children, what I just told you is an example of analogy. Today, we will learn about analogy in detail. So, let's understand what analogy is. Analogy shows the relationship between two similar things. It can also be used to compare two similar things. We can also say that analogy is a comparison of two things in order to find out similarities between them. Analogy helps the learners in developing and strengthening their logical and analytical reasoning. We use analogy in our everyday lives, knowingly or unknowingly. Let's look at an example. Meet Aman. He is very excited today as his family is hosting his birthday party. His mother bakes a cake. His father decorates the house and his sister looks after inviting all the guests. Now children, I have a question for you related to this situation. Is there any relation amongst all these things used in the party? Milk and cake, balloons and decoration, cards and invitation? Yes, there is. We can say that the milk is essential for baking a cake. We definitely need balloons for decorating the house. And we do need cards to invite the guests. This is how we try to find similar relationships between the given things. Analogy is an interesting concept. Let's learn about the following types of analogy. Analogies based on numerals. Analogies based on letters. Analogies based on things and analogies based on figures. Let's learn about these type of analogies in detail with example. Let's start with analogies based on numerals. In this type, we compare one number with an other number sharing similarities. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Look at this analogy and try to understand the relationship between the given number of pairs. 2 single colon 3 double colon 5 single colon 7 Children, if you observe the numbers shown on your screen carefully, you will notice that they all are prime numbers. As 3 is the successive prime number to 2, Similarly, 7 is the consecutive prime number to 5. Let's see one more example. Here, 6, single colon 12, double colon 7, single colon 14. Okay, let's try to identify the connection between 6 and 12. It's simple. If we multiply 6 by 2, we get 12. Similarly, if we multiply 7 by 2, we get 14. Children, generally the numbers are related to each other on the basis of some common properties. Or you can try finding if any of the four basic mathematical operations are applicable. Let's now move to another type of analogy. Analogies based on letters. In this type, we compare one letter with an other letter sharing similar features. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Now see this example on your screen. Let's try and find the relation between the pair of letters on the left. Here, one letter B is skipped between A and C. Similarly, the letter E has been skipped between the letters 
D and F on the right. Let's look at one more example. See this example on your screen here. Children as B, B and C, C are consecutive pairs of capital and small forms of the same letters. Similarly, D, D and E, E are also consecutive pairs of capital and small forms of the same letters. The next type of analogy is analogy based on things or words. In this type of analogy, we are given some words that have similarities between each other. Let's look at an example. See the example here on your screen. Children, we all know that fruits are used to make juice. Similarly, the milk is used to make hot chocolate. Let's look one more example to understand it carefully. See the example here. As we use a pen to write in a notebook, similarly we use chalk to write on a board. Wasn't this easy? You just have to observe the given words carefully and find out the similarities between them. There is one more kind of analogy left and that is analogy based on figures. In this type, we observe the similarities between the given pairs of figures. Let's look at an example. Here as you can see, the first figure on the left is a circle. The next figure is also a circle with the difference that it has been divided into two equal halves by a line. Similarly, a rectangle is divided into two equal halves on the right side. Let's look at one more example here. Here we have two triangles on the left side. The first triangle is in upwards direction and the second triangle is in the downward direction. In the similar way, the semicircle on the right is also turned in a downward direction. Children, we have learned about all the four types of analogies here. Now, solve the given problems based on analogy and find the missing numeral, word and figure. Discuss the answers in your class. Children, now let's learn about classification. But before, let me ask you something. Do you keep your shoes and clothes together in the same area? No, you don't because they belong to different groups of things and therefore are kept separately. We generally keep the things sharing similar characteristics together in a group. This forms the criteria for classification. This helps us to find the odd one out in the given group. Now, let's understand the meaning of classification. Classification refers to the process of grouping things based on their common features. The thing that does not share the common characteristics in the group is considered to be the odd one out. Classification is a valuable life skill. You can use classification to organize your things like books on a shelf, clothes in your cupboard, shoes in a shoe rack and toys in a toy rack. Now look at these things on your screen. Tulip, Dahlia, Lily, Sunflower, Teak and Jasmine. Can you spot the odd one out here? I am sure you will be able to answer. All these things except for teak are flowers. Teak on the other hand is a type of wood. Let me give you some more questions based on classification to solve. You need to find the odd one out in all these questions. Here are the questions for you to solve. Children, that's all for now. I hope you understood the concept of analogy and classification properly. I will see you soon with a new concept.